good morning guys and welcome to another video today i'm gonna head out to luxembourg city to meet my friend john who has been riding uh, og sherman for the last two or three years so he doesn't have any experience riding other reels he has tried my big goat rs19 for like one kilometer and the big goat t4 for maybe two or three kilometers but i'm just want to mention he doesn't really have any other experience except riding his og shaman which makes this video interesting for me because the lynx is such a step above the og shaman there have been so many reels and so many things they made better even though the og shaman was i think ahead of its time it's really good and i'm a little afraid of him thinking oh my god the links is so good i need to upgrade my reel now for 3000 bucks and he really loves his sherman and i don't want him to think now he needs to buy a different better reel but i know he wishes suspension for quite a while so i'm just super curious how he thinks about the links if he thinks this is a good step to upgrade from the OG Sherman. Let's just head down to Luxembourg. Um, I have a new microphone set up, by the way. I don't know if you can hear that, hear a difference. I hope you hear me good, though. I just clipped the DJI mic to in between my helmet here. Um, it just works perfectly for some reason. So yes, I'm heading down to Luxembourg city right now to meet him and we will go for a ride. I don't know where we will go. We will just head outside the city. Enjoy the beautiful cloudy Saturday and rip around on our wheels. Second try okay. of filming it. So, first impressions, very smooth when you power it up. Just, I don't know, just how it feels, how it balances. It's just like instant. Build is great, <laughs> awesome. Definitely better than the original Sherman. Yeah, I don't know, it's, it's, it's big. <laughs> it's definitely bigger compared to the original Sherman. So now the, uh, the upgrade to this, I suppose, in every way. <laughs> is it still filming? Yes. Right, so let me try this. Don't laugh. Okay, this is nice. The, the turning and the cornering is different than the Sherman, the OG Sherman, but it's very smooth. I like the display. The display is really bright. Yeah, like it's very easy to see. I mean, not like the OG Sherman's was hard to see, but I love the display. Definitely an upgrade, you know? You don't need to go color and all that. Just It's just brighter. Maybe I can brighten it up. The suspension is like plush. It's like, I don't know. It's like butter the best way to describe it it's like butter it's just yeah the suspension is suspension is amazing it's amazing yeah it just gives you that extra bit of like confidence and it's almost like you know like a i don't know like an old school toyota <laughs> is the og sherman versus like a cadillac <laughs> i don't know the acceleration curve is really nice um it's very smooth um, I mean, I feel at home actually when I jump on. Pedals are a lot bigger. Yes, the pedals are nice. I feel well planted. Yeah. Like I don't feel like I'm, you know, teetering so to speak. It's just I feel well planted. No other way to put it. <laughs> Definitely, I feel more comfortable on this than your T4. Definitely. Yeah, I'm not worried about rolling over bumps and all that on this thing. Okay, you want my thoughts? I'm going home with a new wheel. <laughs> yeah it's uh the cornering is different yeah. so far it's kind of like you just bend the knee in order to to do your turns and you just let the wheels weight do the work so far these are my impressions so instead of like kind of fighting it like i do on the, the og sherman not that i fight it it's really easy to, to corner and maneuver just kind of just let it do it you know don't try to force it you know it's almost like when you're doing the turn like the, the wheel is just turning itself i don't know i don't know how else to describe it yeah i don't know i don't know it's just kind of like that and i like that actually um yeah it's 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 really nice i feel I'd, I, I say like these EUCs, especially the OG Sherman, it's, they're fun, but they're not toys. But after riding this, I kind of feel like that's a toy, even though it's not, just because the ride is so much more comfortable, premium. Yeah. 
you know, it's just like, I feel like I could ride longer on this than I could on the Sherman. And yeah, not with the battery, but this, it's just like my body isn't getting beat up. My feet, you know, the pedals are nice. I feel really well planted. Um, I don't know if the, if the pedals were to become wet. I don't know that, but um, as far as like, I don't know, I just feel well planted. I, I feel like my feet wouldn't get as tired as quickly. But yeah, I could see why people would say when they jump on it, they feel at home. Actually, I feel more comfortable on this than on your T4. Your yeah. T4, I mean, it was smooth as well, but I don't know, something about how it cornered and it felt more squirrely is what we would say in the Midwest. I guess the only thing, I'm, I'm a distance rider, so I like, uh, like I'd say adventure riding. I like just to take my time and go and see different things. And with this wheel, I think I would get more range on my OG Sherman. Like I said, when I picked this up, yeah, it's, it's got heft, but it didn't feel really heavier than this to me. And I'm not like a huge weightlifting guy or anything like that. Ooh, the braking is nice. Too. The braking is amazing. Yeah. Um, first thought when I tried the links, when Ooh. I was braking, I didn't know about know about it. The uh -huh. braking that it's that good. I just was like I was braking and I thought, whoa, like <laughs> this is good braking. The Sherman S I would like to try, um, just because I like the idea of having a bigger battery, but. I'm sure it would be a little bit more difficult to throw around. Like if, if they could make this with a 3200 watt hour battery, this has what, a 2700? Yes, okay. and they will release a 4000 this year. Oh wow. Okay. So a bigger Sherman S, probably with the weight of the Sherman S with the Lynx characteristics of the magnesium shell. Yeah. I think. This, this, is, this is my wheel now. I'm just editing this right now and this is this is not your wheel this is my wheel this this is this is my wheel now I mean this 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 turned into I think the term is pinks actually it's not pinks but oh <laughs> uh, yeah this is my wheel now like, yeah I mean it's just it's just better pretty much in every way <laughs> it's just better so you think it's a worthy upgrade yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, if you're if you're a serious EUC rider and you use it to commute or even just to have fun, like it's definitely worth it in my opinion because you you've got the stability. I don't know what it is. I think it's the suspension as well. You just feel planted. Like I'm always worried when I'm riding. Like I'm always scanning the road ahead, you know, for obstacles and stuff. Um, with this. I'm still scanning the road, but I'm a little less uh, yeah, worried about it. Thanks for watching. Maybe we'll see a little bit of more riding footage. And uh, yeah, first thoughts on the links. went 70 kilometers to Vianden and looked I think that's how you say it in Luxembourg <laughs>